Well, the vote was pretty much a landslide and happened just within the last hour. Council voted 36 to 6 in favor of making these separated uh, bike lanes along Bloor Street permanent. Now, right now, they run along a two and a half kilometer stretch, but cycling advocates on council say they expect that eventually they will be expanded both to the east and to the west. To invest in infrastructure if we're going to get people to choose a bike. Uh, time and time again, we hear and see in surveys that people aren't biking that could or would, but there's no safe infrastructure mm -hmm. there for them. So let's build the safe infrastructure and see what happens. Well, on Bloor Street, we saw it shoot to number two, this, the second busiest bike lane in the city of Toronto within one year yeah. of a pilot project. There's so much we can, uh, so much growth that we can anticipate from that uh, as years move forward uh, that it's very exciting. The Bloor Street Lane started out as a pilot project a year ago and are part of the city's 10-year plan to create a comprehensive grid of both on and off street bike lanes. Mike Layton admits that we are a bit behind on the plan that was approved in 2016, but he expects it will be fully implemented in 11 or 12 years. Major corridor studies are already underway to look at expanding the Bloor Lanes west to about Keel Street and east to the Bloor Viaduct. But Doug Ford, who announced that he intends to run for mayor in the next election, says the Bloor lanes are a terrible idea, and if he were elected, he would push to take them out. I just believe that we shouldn't take a main arterial road like Bloor Street and take two lanes of traffic out when there's eight million cars going down Bloor every single year. Uh, I believe we should maybe uh, move it north of Bloor, one street, or south of Bloor to a secondary uh, arterial road. And not to mention, uh, we're, we're taking out millions of dollars of revenues uh, from the parking meters, mm -hmm. and it's hurting the businesses. Uh, talk to the businesses along Bloor, they're, they're, uh, they're losing revenue, and uh, traffic congestion is just getting worse. Uh, again, I, I just want to stress, I'm not against bike lanes. I'm all for bike lanes in the right places. Now, Doug Ford says that just because council voted in favor of keeping the lanes today, a new administration could easily turn around and take them out again, the same way that Jarvis and other lanes were taken out when Rob Ford was mayor back in 2011. The next election is next October.